Oh, good morning. Okay, so it is, I can't see what time it is on my phone. It is 7.44. I've been up for maybe about an hour. Stayed in bed a little bit. I'm still kind of tired, but I'm trying to get my strength together, so I decided to make this video. So, uh, I do suspect that, you know, people are, like, all pushing marriage, marriage, marriage for some reason based on what people are saying and stuff. And like I said, you know, I understand that women most women have this fairy tale view of marriage and whatnot. And when I was younger, I have to say that I did think the same way because we are constantly bombarded with romantic beliefs, okay? Like we read fairy tales, we watch TV, there's so much romance, you know, there's this guy and he meets the girl and there's this romantic chase and then they fall in love and there's all kinds of intimacy and this wonderful fulfillment, so on and so on. But nobody really carries the story further, okay? So nobody talks about after you have kids, after the living arrangement is set up, and then um, what goes on after that. So people get too wrapped up into romance, okay? And it's not that um, I don't mean to seem like, you know, dreary about the whole issue, and this is not pessimism, okay? But um, marriage is about cohabitation. It's about, you know, being able to settle in and um, live with somebody who is not, um, who basically, um, where you can live harmoniously. At least that's my standard, okay? And, and so, you know, um, I, I know not to get sucked up into, you know, the fact that, you know, somebody might be good looking. I mean, good look, I mean, I, I've encountered several good looking men throughout my life, okay? And that doesn't necessarily mean that I want them. I mean, I think women are just entirely too romantic and that's where their downfall is, okay? Um, and the reason why people don't visualize, you know, the romance after a certain point, like when girls fantasize about romance, they never think about after the wedding. You know, they're, they're so interested in the whole romance and, the, and that, and they're caught up in that to the point of where they don't see anything further, okay? And I'm not that way. So I have a good head on my shoulders about that. So I could sit there and look at good men, all good looking men all day long. And that's just, that's just what it is. I might make it in the back of my mind, I might think he should be in a fashion magazine or he should be on a TV show or something along those lines. But I'm not, my heart's not all flutter. It just, it's just not like that. So I, I, I get irritated with a lot of women because women get really nitpicky and they get catty over the fight over something that, you know, probably would never last or be built on anything on, on anything uh, on a strong foundation so that irritates me a lot um now um some people might think well you know you have a negative view on marriage i'm going to tell you i do have a negative view on marriage okay and i want to tell you why because most marriages don't work and there's a lot of people who are together just for the sake of being together because they either been there for such a long time um so i remember a lot of men telling me um when I was a teenager, I don't know why people used to feel like they could tell me stuff when I was a teenager, but for some reason, people felt like they could just dump all their shit on me, okay? Even though I'm only like 16 or 17, why are you telling me all this? But a lot of people would confess, you know, hey, I'm married and, you know, I got a wife and kids. And, you know, hey, a lot of men would tell me, hey, it's cheaper to keep her, you know, it's cheaper to keep her. So a lot of men want to just ditch out on their wives, okay? And this is something that people don't talk about, but they do. They want to ditch out. Because um, I, I personally have my beliefs that I don't believe that monogamy is natural. I don't. And um, I don't believe it. And, you know, if you look at how people are made biologically, you'll see that that's not, that, that there's some, tr there either some truth to that, okay? Just because a man is married to a woman doesn't mean that he's not going to have sexual desires for somebody else. That's the, that's fucking reality, okay? Um, you'll see a lot of men who, who, who look at other women, a lot of men flirt with other women, okay? So a lot of p women build their life around this one man, okay? And so when this man acts upon his natural instincts to start looking at other women, her whole world falls apart, okay? I don't need to have my world built upon one person, okay? Now, um, I, I, I resent that somebody is going to think that that's the magical key to, to happiness. I, I just don't believe it, okay? And I have, re I have never really seen any great examples of marriage. Most of the marriages that I've witnessed myself are pretty much based on obligation. It started off great, but it is, okay? It's not pessimism. I'm just telling people, you know, I'm not one of these people who are sucked up into it, okay? Um, now, um, 
I do believe in cohabitation. I do believe people should have things in common. And that's what makes the relationship harmonious, okay? So, um, I, I, I don't know exactly what, what people are thinking. But, you know, I know I've been asked several times, am I married? Um, and asking me questions about my husband and all these other questions. Well, I, I don't, I'm not into it, okay? I, I, I seriously only care about accomplishing my goal, okay? I only care about that. So, these matchmakers and all this other bullshit, if, that, if that's the case, okay? Stop it, okay? Just stop it. You know, I, I really care about me. And I, you know, if, if, I, if, I, if I was, let's just say, for example, I was a young woman, okay? And, um, and I, I met a man who was financially, you know, stable. I mean, the kind of guy who could, you know, um, pay all the bills and he could do all this stuff and send the kids to, like, the best schools and all this other crap, right? I would still want to work. I would still want to work. You know why? Because... You know, it, what happens if that man, you know, makes a bad deal or whatever? What happens if something happens to him or, you know, a woman should be still be. I personally believe, OK, I'm not trying to force my beliefs on somebody else, but I believe that a woman, even if she stays home with her kids, should still have some sort of skill that if something happens, she can stand on her own. OK, and like I said, you know, my life was different than everybody else. I missed out on a lot. OK, so you got to understand that. My goals are the uh, the utmost importance. Okay, that's the that's what my um, piggy used to have this book. It was called the Dark Dark Tower, and his obsession was that Dark Tower. That's the only thing he his obsession was to you know get to it, and that's how I am. Okay, and and it's just the way it is. Okay, so I I look at things from a realistic standpoint. I fully understand. I'm observing people and their relationships. I observe this stuff. I, I, I used to sit there and look at people when I, since I was a kid. And by the time I was in my 30s, I get it, okay? I, I don't see too much proof of the long-lasting whirlwind romance. I don't see it. Don't see it, okay? So I'm more practical that way, whereas most women are more emotional. So, um, and, and then some people will say, well, you know, I, I don't understand why are you like that? Because, you know, you, you take care of yourself. Yeah, I take care of myself. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Women, just because a woman, you know, takes care of herself, it's called grooming. Okay. Like I used to know this one lady and she was, um, she was, I think she was like Panamanian or something. I don't know. I could be using the wrong term for that. Please forgive me if I am, if I am. But anyway, um, her standard of grooming was, of course, you know, the, the, the typical shower, you know, wash her hair, make sure it was brushed. And she, um, she, she was another one. She, she wore makeup because she wanted to, you know, um, uh, coordinate with her clothes. But she insisted on the fact that, you know, you got to have perfume. And I'm like, why do you have to have perfume? She's like, she, she was like, oh, it's disgusting if you don't wear perfume. Look, I'm thinking, man, I don't have body odor like you do. And maybe, maybe she felt as though that was a, a um, <laughs> maybe she thought that that was like something that was so regular to her and so common to her that everybody was, that should be uh, the regimen of everybody. Everybody should throw on their best clothes, get their best appearance on, and then throw on some perfume, okay? Now, I, I don't wear perfume, okay? Um, I, I usually wear like a light body spray if I do wear some sort of scent because I don't like too much perfume. I'm not a perfumey person. And I like the smell because I like to smell, okay? I, I don't believe, I, I live more for myself. I'm an individualist. So, so what I wear, what I do is for me, okay? So what I do is about me. It has nothing to do with other people. Now, for some women, if a woman was kind of like the plain Jane, and I'm going to tell you what, there's nothing wrong with being a plain Jane type, okay? Plain Janes have their place, and I've seen a lot of attractive-looking plain Jane women, okay? Like, I remember seeing this blonde chick at the store, and her hair was, um, you know, like some of those chicks, I don't know. They look like they roll out of bed, and their hair's kind of matted. And she, you know, she had like a hemp braided necklace and everything. I guess she, I guess she would call her like a modern day hippie, kind of like a modern day dirt, dirt head type chick. But I gotta say, you know, she was a nice looking woman and in, in her state, she was still good looking. Okay. Now let's just say, for example, I don't know how old she was, but let's just say for example, somebody was living that lifestyle for years and years and years and years. And then one day they decide to, um, uh, they decide to change their appearance. Okay. She doesn't have to justify why she did. Maybe she's looking at fashion magazines and she, she was inspired and she wants to change her look. And some people might accuse her of like, well, you know, you got that going on. You, you must be looking for... No, she doesn't. Maybe she just 
got into fashion. Maybe she just got up. It, everything in, in a woman's world. It's like I, I've often thought that women have nothing. They're nothing. They're absolutely nothing in society, and everything about them revolves around a man. That, that's bullshit, okay? It's bullshit, and it's wrong, okay? Um, so I, I'm tired of the misconceptions, okay? I've been wearing makeup since I was a kid, okay? And you'll notice, like, if you see me around town, like, like last night in the middle of the night, was it one o'clock in the morning or something? I strolled into the store with no makeup on, and I was wearing um, what I would consider to be ridiculous clothes. Okay? <laughs> okay, but when I go to work, if I go somewhere, if I'm standing in front of a judge or whatever, and if I'm going to a party or something, I look my best, okay? So it has nothing to do with that. So you're getting a lot of gossip on Facebook, a lot of women throwing and interjecting their own feelings, which is called projection. And they're making up drama, okay? So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, I hope this makes some sense. And I felt like that was just something I needed to talk about. Um, I, I, I just want to feel safe, okay? I want to try to get this message out to employers because I'm tired of being harassed. Um, you know, I don't want to be constantly badgered and questioned over issues that are stupid that I don't really know and anything about and I don't fully understand and I don't care about people harassing me because they feel intimidated because I'm a black person with intellectual capabilities. I will say that there are a lot of black people. I've met several black people, okay? I, I actually knew, a, 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 at least I met, when I was living in Rosemont, I met a black woman who was also um, extremely intelligent, okay? And yeah, she was weird. Yeah, she was pretty much a little loner. Um, and, and they usually are, okay? Most people who are her geniuses usually, I hate that use that word, but most people they are. They usually hang out by themselves. Why? Because a lot of people find them boring. <laughs> they do, they find them boring. I mean, I have more of a bubbly type of humor, and so I can kind of converse with other people, but she was one of those people, I gotta tell you, I. I kind of wanted to get away from her because it was like the conversation was like almost too boring. So, yeah, I mean, there, it, it exists everywhere. And to constantly put me in that sort of situation all the time, especially when it's not necessary, doesn't pertain to the job, it's against the law and you're putting me in a higher standard of, um, you're putting me and making me the other. It's, it's discrimination. So I'm going to wrap up this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.